Welcome back. With two kids in college, I should know how expensive it can be. Mm -hmm. Yes, I wrote out a big fat tuition check just <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> well, figuring out how to pay for that check for school should start years in advance, Denise. I know. <laughs> I think I missed the boat. Chad Harbeck and J.W. <laughs> Heinemann are college funding specialists from Integrated College Planning. They're here to help families avoid Denise's costly mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do wrong, guys? Yeah, good to see you guys. Good, good to see you. Back. Everything. You didn't start early enough. Well, that's okay. what they're going to say, right? Because you got to start early. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. so how early and what do you got to do? Well, we primarily, well, the, you should start when they're born. Okay. <laughs> but, yes. you know, we find that a lot of families are starting to think about it sophomore, junior year of, of high school. Of high school, and that's mm -hmm. way too late, right? Right. Yeah. But, you know, everybody procrastinates. They do. For well, sure. they think they're going to spend that money some, somewhere else right. when they really got to start putting it into a special account for their, for their kids, right? Yeah. Okay, so when should we start? Well, what we do is we help families through the financial aid process, primarily mm -hmm. sophomore, junior year when they're starting to look at colleges. Because there's some schools okay. that have lots of money to give away and there's some schools that have no money to give away. Okay. Well, and that's what's great is you guys know which schools are which. You've done this for years and years and years, so you mm -hmm. have a trend that you follow. What are some of the costly mistakes that parents make? What are they doing wrong? I think it's mostly saving in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Putting that bucket of money that they're going to use for college in the wrong spot. Uh, also then not knowing the colleges that have money to give mm -hmm. and really being armed with that information where they're, they're able to say, all right, this college is going to give a lot of money and not get scared by sticker shock, which is something that we talk about in our workshops, yeah. which is that uh, there's fifty, sixty thousand dollars schools out there that actually are less expensive than UW Madison at twenty five thousand a year. Because they really have all that money that people don't really know how to see. I think I missed the boat on that one. But when you say mm -hmm. the wrong bucket, what is the wrong bucket to put your money in, and what's the right bucket? That's the stuff that we teach our clients. Okay. So that's he what can't the, just give yeah. that away, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go talk to him in person. <laughs> no, but we do actually give a lot of hints and, yeah. and ideas okay. about how to do the right things for saving for college. And we usually like to start that a lot earlier in the process, which is usually, like you were asking earlier, we'd love to get people in there when they have an eighth grader mm -hmm. yeah. or a freshman, because then we can actually start laying the foundation to really get them to the right place. Yeah, it's true. And that's you go over a lot of the stuff in your free workshops, which I'll get to in a second. But I want you to explain what the expected family contribution, the EFC is, because a lot of families have not done that mm -hmm. either. The expected family contribution is derived from the FAFSA form. Mm -hmm. It's made up of parent income and assets, child income and assets, and they come up with a number that they think you can afford to pay mm. to send your child okay. to college. Gotcha. Does so that you, always feel accurate to families? Sometimes, but most of the time most not. Of the time yeah. Not. Does it feel like it's more, like families feel this is more than Way I can Way more give? than, okay. like, yeah. we got to come up with what? Yeah. yeah. And there's tweaks and things like that that you can do to actually reduce that. And that's one of the things that we also do in our workshop as we talk about that. Like, how can I reduce my EFC? Is there a way for me to reduce my EFC? And, and should I do that? Do you go over that kind of stuff in your workshop? What do you cover with families who come to meet with you in that free workshop? It's really more of an eye-opening experience where we talk about the process that they're going to be going through, what to kind of expect, where colleges will give money, where they won't give money. And we do go over in great detail that EFC, and we sometimes will calculate it for a family um, in our complimentary work or, um, consultations that we give if you do attend one of these workshops. Gotcha. And sometimes you have kids who are set on a certain college. Right. So it's like, nope, this is where I want to go. Right. And so then you got to talk to those parents, well, this is where your child wants to go, instead of going to this other school that might give you more money. We had a great experience with that this last season where we had a child who actually made the decision after she looked at the amount of money that this college A was going to give mm -hmm. versus college B. And college <coughs> B actually was not the first choice. It was actually the second. Mm -hmm. But when she saw that it was only going to cost her $5,000 to go to that school right. versus 25000 at the other, the 529 that she had actually covered all of the college expense. Wow. And she came out of college with no debt. So wow. she made that decision, even though she loved the first college. Sure. Yeah. She knew that. Do you find that more students are, are taking on the financial burden versus parents? I, I believe that that's, well, it just depends. Individual. Yeah. 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 It's a case by case basis, and nobody's the same. Oh, and I like that you work with everyone, every single person's individual. Um, 
situation. And so here's where you can start getting planning. Free college funding workshops are starting at 630 in these locations. Oconomowoc September 13th, Hales Corners on the 13th, and Waukesha on the 13th as well. Muskego on the 18th, as well as New Berlin on the 18th. You can attend those, um, attend those, one of those free college funding workshops, Economy Walk again on the 11th. Here's where you can contact Integrated College Planning. They're at integratedcollegeplanning.com, 262-574-9242 for more. Thanks so Thanks much, guys. you guys. Great to be here. Get on it, right?